joke master, Mr. Anthony Navarro. Navarro. Thomas and I being the new guys waiting for our magazine and hearing all these great things and we haven't yet been able to read it, we can download them as PDFs. So I actually got them on my iPad and I'm starting to read them. So be proactive, be proactive, <laughs> we can do that. Well, I didn't know if you guys were aware, but comedians have an organization very similar to Toastmasters, where they get to get together and hone their skills periodically. So an up and coming comedian had gone to his joke master ceremony for the first time. His sponsor brought him along. And they went to the big convention and everyone was going up on stage. And for time purposes, because everyone wants to get up on stage, they indexed everyone's jokes. Because everyone knows each other's jokes. These are professionals. They all know each other's jokes. So why go rehash it? And they indexed them by number. So they would just recite the number. <laughs> Comedian number one gets up on the stage. Round of applause. This is 27. A couple chuckles come out of the audience. 39. A couple of guffaws and it starts getting around. He's a 722 and the whole crowd erupts in laughter. He steps down, the second comedian gets up. 87. <laughs> Start laughing. 287. He starts, you know, more or less. 622. Bam, the whole crowd gets up. So this goes on for a couple hours. The new guy gets up on stage. He goes, 65. Nothing. <laughs> 221. Crickets. 760. A couple groans. Sorry, this one worked for him. 227. And they said, oh, I stole this guy's joke. <laughs> 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 so he says, he goes next to his sponsor and says, oh, what was going on here? I mean, I told my jokes, and I even told a joke that this guy told. And he says, you know, son, it's, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. <laughs> <laughs>